let's open up your PS3 console uh, step one we'll be removing the hard drive first take out this cover remove this screw and we'll be able to slide out the hard drive we'll be peeling off this warranty sticker take out this and there's a Torx T8 screw in there that we need to remove we'll be able to slide up the case so slide to your left and this pops out next uh, we'll be removing one two three four five six seven Phillips screws There is a clip at the back here. Unclip it from here and lift it up, lift up the case. We will be cleaning up all of this. Grab your cleaning brushes and low power vacuum and clean it all up. We'll be removing the power supply next. Disconnect the power cable from the motherboard. And then we'll be removing one, two, three, four, five, six screws. We'll now be able to, there's two pins, power supply pins connected here, so we'll be able to lift up the power supply. We'll be disconnecting this antenna board cable here. Disconnect this. Next, we'll be disconnecting the blue rear drive uh, data cable and the power cable, and we'll be able to lift up our blue rear drive. Remove this antenna screw and take this out. Next, we'll be removing the two heat sink clamps. We'll be removing the hard drive bay cover. Two screws here, take these off. We'll be removing this uh, Bluetooth Wi Fi antenna board. There's two screws here, take these off and lift it up. We'll be removing the three medium screws, one, two, three here.
disconnect the fan power cable. We'll be removing uh, this metal shield. So there's one, two, three, four, five Phillips screws. Take this off. Lift it up. We'll be able to lift up the motherboard now, so gently lift it up from here. Lift up this bottom panel. We'll be removing these two screws and we'll be removing this AC inlet panel. Next, in order to remove our fan, there's one, two screws that we need to take off. We'll be using the ultrasonic cleaner and cleaning up all these components. Add some flux and we'll be heating up the CPU and GPU units. We'll be opening up the power supply unit next and give it a quick clean. So remove the power supply cable, flip it over, remove the three Phillips screws. Grab your plastic pry opening tool and there are a few clips. 
and we need to unclip. So the first one is here, it pops up from here. We're going to be giving this a quick clean. Put back the three screws. Back the power cable. And this is ready. Next, we'll be opening up the blooter drive and give it a quick clean. So remove the power cable. Peel off the sticker and remove the data cable. Unclip this. Next is take out these two screws. Take out the two silver screws. Remove the top cover. Remove the magnetic spindle. We'll be removing the two screws here. And one screw at the bottom. Take out these two screws, unclip these two clips here, take out the top cover. We can now start cleaning with a low powered cleaner. Let's put it all back together. So make sure these are visible. Place the magnetic spindle, place the two screws here. Flip it over and we'll be placing this metal shield. Place this screw. Next, put back the top cover. 
these to two black screws here and two silver screws. Connect the blue air drive power cable here. Unclip this, put back the data cable. Blue drive is ready. Let's put it all back together. So grab your bottom case, grab the heat sinks, place it in. Place the fan. Place the AC inlet. Place the two screws here and place the fan screws. Place your bottom tray. Grab your motherboard. Align the connectors here. Place the heat sink uh, silver metal plate. Place the hard drive bay cover. Place the Wi Fi Bluetooth antenna board. We're ready to place all the screws. Place the two X clamps with two screws first. We'll be placing the two hard drive screw, uh, bay cover screws. Place the two Bluetooth Wi Fi antenna module screws. We'll be placing uh, the remaining motherboard screws, so three medium screws here. And put back the remaining five screws here. One, two, three, four, and five. We'll be putting the Bluetooth antenna accessory next. Put back the screw. Connect this Wi Fi Bluetooth antenna board cable. Connect the fan power cable. Unclip this, we'll be placing the Blu-ray drive next. Connect the Blu-ray drive power cable. Grab your power supply, we'll be placing the power supply next. Align the two pinholes here with this. And slide it in. Place this screw here first. Connect the power supply cable. Place this one small screw here. Place the two long screws here. Place the two medium screws here. Connect the power supply power cable. 
And then replacing the top cover. Align it here. It rolled seven screws here, so one small one here, and the remaining six go here. Place the hard drive in. Put back the hard drive screw. Put back the hard drive bay cover. Put back the top cover. Slide it in. And place the last Torx D8 screw here. All done.